Hi, my name is Tomasz and you're watching Casual DIY channel. And yes, I did shave my beard. Today we're going to be checking out different types of blades, different branded blades for the evolution source. And in particular, today we'll be testing all those blades on a table saw from Evolution Rage 5S. Check out the video. So I actually managed to get a very nice variety of blades for this test. Uh, first of all, obviously we're going to go through the multi-blade that all the saws from Evolution come with. Uh, we'll go through testing again the wood dedicated blade from Evolution to see how that performs. And this one is 40 teeth. After that, there is a bit of a surprise. So as you know, the Evolution blades, their bore size is 25.4 millimeters, where most of the other blades will come with 30 millimeters bore size. But Saxton blades have actually released a series of blades with 25.4 millimeters bore size. So you actually do not need any reducing rings it will fit perfectly your evolution source um, obviously i've got the 40 teeth uh, version as well and a beautiful blade from freud i wonder how that's going to perform it costed a lot of money so i really hope it will perform very good so that will be the first part of the testing and the second part will be the fine blades but obviously there are different types of blades for different jobs and I don't really understand why Evolution is not providing more variety in their blades. But obviously we're going to go through the 80 teeth and that's a Saxton blade again with 25.4 millimeters. If you're interested I will try to link it uh, down below in the description of this video so you can check them out yourself. Next I've got the Freud blade. This one though is only 60 teeth. I didn't manage to get the 80 teeth version. And a company called Abrax, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right, kindly send me this blade to test out and this is 80 teeth as well. So we'll have a look how this performs as I've actually never used this brand before so I'm quite curious what are the results going to be. So the next thing we actually have to talk about are the reducing rings as the Freud blades will need a reducing ring to actually fit the evolution um, saws. Now you can get them online on eBay or even on Amazon fairly cheaply. And I've actually bought two versions of them to show you the difference and what I believe would be the better option. So I've bought this set of three reducing rings to fit any size really what you're going to need. Now the problem with those, so I hope you're going to be able to see this, but the edge of this um, reducing ring on the outside is absolutely dead smooth and there may be a problem with that uh, when you're going to insert the uh, reducing ring to your blade and in this case we're actually going to be using the blade for the evolution saw where the rpms are a lot lower so the risk is the blade actually is going to be spinning on that reducing ring and not moving as fast or at all and then you may come across a very serious health and safety issue there and obviously increasing the potential of kickback as well so I wouldn't recommend those reducing rings they may work but they I believe add a element of well unknown really you don't know what's going to happen and I wouldn't really personally risk it so the second option is a reducing ring that I managed to get from Bosch now this one actually has got some notches in it. I'm just gonna hope you're gonna be able to see that. Um, so it's definitely gonna be biting in to the uh, metal of the blade itself. So hopefully that will prevent it from spinning on its own um, on the ring itself. So it costs a little bit more. Uh, sorry, I can't really remember how much. I will try to link all of it in the description of this video. But again, it's not massive money and it's definitely worth buying something a little bit decent and um, to prevent any potential issues. So this is what I'm going to be using. So what materials will I be actually using to conduct this test? 
I'm actually just going to be using two types. First one is the glue up of some hardwoods, so that will indicate how well they cope with hardwoods essentially and what results we can achieve with it. And <laughs> the other one, everybody's favourite, plywood. In this case it's 18mm thick, so we'll see how badly or how well they actually can cut through plywood as we know is really prone to some slight chip out and um, yeah it would be nice to know which ones is the best for you if you work with a lot of plywood right so the first blade obviously i'm going to be doing the standard multi-blade from evolution And now I will switch the uh, multi-blade for the Evolution wood dedicated blade. So the next blade Saxton blade 40 teeth with a bore 25.4 millimeters so no reducing ring needed let's whack it on and see how it performs And the next blade that we're going to test is the Freud blade. As you can see, the reducing ring is in. So hopefully everything will go fine and I will be able to post this video <laughs> in one piece. Uh, yeah, so we're going to have a look how that works. 40 teeth. Let's whack it in and see what it does. And now we'll jump into the testing on the fine tooth blades and the first one is the Saxton blade with the 25.4 millimeter bore so no reducing ring needed. Let's have a look how it performs. The next blade I'm going to be looking at is the blade from Abrax. Um, if you're not familiar, this is a UK based company uh, that kindly donated this blade for me. So it's a good occasion to actually test it out and have a look at how it performs. Uh, this one is 30 mil bore, so obviously we need to put the reducing ring. Right then guys, so I came across a bit of an issue with the Abrax blade, unfortunately. So I've used, as you've been seen before, the reducing ring from Bosch. Now, unfortunately, this is what happens in this case. Check it out. So get my blade ready, reducing ring. And it just falls through. It's not attaching itself. Okay, so I thought myself, maybe the ring is damaged. So I've got another one. It just falls through with really no pressure at all. Now to show you the difference with the Freud blade, it actually sticks out and you need to use a hammer to put it in place. It's not going anywhere and it's actually quite hard to get out. But is the Freud blade different? Not really. 
I've got a Saxton blade with 30 mil bore and again you need to use a hammer to put it in place and it's stable. So unfortunately on this occasion uh, I'm not sure if the dimensions of the bore are actually fractions of millimeter larger and obviously the rings are not fitting correctly so in this case I can't use this blade I wouldn't recommend anybody using a, a reducing ring if it actually doesn't stay solid in the hole itself if it just falls through I find it that to be too dangerous to actually use sorry Abrax uh, but this time it's a pass so as you can see obviously I have to skip the Abrax blade unfortunately but the next one is the Freud blade again this time around 60 teeth as I said before I didn't manage to pick up an 80 teeth Right then, so a couple of points we have to cover at this stage. We've run all the tests, all the blades that I had available for testing. And as you have seen, the reducing ring with the Freud blade works fine. There is no issues whatsoever. Although, from my own personal perspective, I am not telling you to use it. It is your own responsibility and your own risk if you decide to use a different branded blade on any evolution source. In the end, it is a reducing ring and it brings some danger and some health and safety hazards in operating this type of um, tools. So I'm not telling you it works fantastic, go and get it. You have seen what it does, you have seen how it works. I've still got all my limbs, it cuts wood, but I don't recommend it. It's your own risk if you decide to do it. Another thing that's worth mentioning, all these blades, apart from the Evolution blades, are actually brand new. And it's difficult to say what will happen after 100 cuts or 1000 cuts. Hence, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, I do recommend to subscribe to it. Press that bell notification button and change it to all. So you get notifications of all my future videos so you won't miss anything. And obviously you can be assured, as you can see, I'm actually doing some re-reviews of the tools I've got. And I will be re-reviewing these blades. So let's start with the multi-blade from Evolution. As you can see, there is a bit of a chip out, uh, not a lot, but as you can see, inside you've got really nasty marks after the blade. And let's check from the other side. It's actually not too bad. But the marks on the inside after the blade are quite noticeable. The uh, wood dedicated evolution blade, again, as you can see, it's not the cleanest of the cuts. I think it's actually slightly better than the multi blade. And as you can see, the uh, cut inside is actually clean, there's no blade marks nothing on this side so let's check out from the reverse side again it's actually not perfect but it's better than the multi-blade okay next the Saxton blade it's actually very nice and crisp edge as you can see there, no marks after the blade, and from the other side, it's actually quite good, nice, neat cut as well. 
and finally the Freud blade as you would expect fantastic edge really nice and crisp no marks after the blade at all although on the reverse side there's a little bit of tear out so that's quite interesting the Saxton blade was in this case actually a lot better I'm actually quite surprised with that bit of a shame on the Freud side right let's check out the plywood again the multi-blade from evolution I'm actually quite surprised I thought it would be far worse yes you do have a little bit of a chip out but it's nothing major it's actually fairly nice and crisp cut on the inside um, again I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it but you still do have some marks after the blade and on the reverse side again it's not a perfect and nice and crisp cut the wood dedicated blade it's similar to the multi blade uh, the, I think it's actually a slightly better uh, let's have a look on the inside yeah this is actually a bit of mark there's actually some marks after the blades over here and over there and on the reverse side on the reverse side is actually worse than the multi blade there's actually a fair amount of chip out as you can see so uh, yeah a bit of a shame there next let's check out the saxton blade really nice and clean and crisp cut not much of a tear out at all i would say almost none no marks of the blade at all and on the reverse side there's a little bit over here it's uh, it's very good there's n there's just slightly bit of a tear out but nothing major and now let's check out the freud blade okay in this case fantastic cut at the front really nice and crisp really really nice i'm liking this inside no marks after the blade nice straight cut and on the reverse side let's have a look again very similar to the saxton blade it's very good it's nice and crisp obviously there's a little bit a tiny bit there but overall, it's actually um, this this side is comparable to Saxton uh, blade, but I think the front is better than the Saxton blade. And now let's check out the fine teeth blade. This is Saxton, eighty teeth, fantastic cut, nice and crisp, no issues whatsoever. Inside, really nice, but as you can see bit of a tear out on the other side let's check it out oh really nasty but one thing that we have to note in this case the grain of the plywood actually goes across the cut that we actually made whereas in the examples before they were made with the grain of the plywood if you wish so let's check out the Freud 60 teeth if that's any better again the front is absolutely fantastic straight crisp looking lovely inside and uh, no marks from the blade let's check out the other side yes yeah, similar issue to the Saxton blade I would actually say let's compare both of them very very similar in that respect let's check out the hardwood first of all the Freud blade neat very it's absolutely perfect it's a perfect cut there inside no marks from the blade other side very neat cut no issues at all 
Saxton blade. Very, very nice clean cut. I would say exactly the same as the Freud blade. Very good. Inside, no marks from the blade. And let's check out the other side. Very good as well. There's a little bit of a hair, a bit of a Sarah, not much. But uh, again, very good, very good results. So as you've seen, these are results of the test we made. Obviously, by all means, there's nothing scientific about the test I have made. And it's only single passes as well. The most important question is how these blade will actually perform after, let's say, a few months of constant use. So, as I mentioned before, I will be doing a follow-up video to this one again in a few months when I had a good go at all of these blades on my table saw. I will actually mainly be cutting a stabilised wood, burl, pen blanks and all that, so it will be fairly tough um, materials for these blades to tackle so it will be a good indication to actually check and see how they will perform over time. Whereas with the cuts themselves, the uh, test that we've done at the minute, there isn't much difference between the Saxton blade and the Freud blade. I would imagine over time the Freud blade will give you better results uh, than the Saxton blade. But on the other side, the Saxton blades are actually coming with 25.4mm bores. So you don't have to mess around with the reducing rings, which may uh, indicate a bit of a health and safety hazard to your operational of your saw and obviously in the woodworking community everybody will have their own favorite brand favorite blade that they actually work with all the time and that's absolutely fine so yes you can use different types of blades in the evolution table so they work they cut through wood and they give good results will i recommend it no it's your own risk as the evolution saws are actually with lower rpms i believe um this table saw is 2500 rpm so it's very very slow whereas your normal table saws and mitre saws and anything else are in the region of between five to nine thousand so the difference is quite large because of the multi-blade that evolution is shipping all these tools with so they can actually cut through metal but for many of you, exactly the same as for me, the price of the uh, blades does actually matter a lot. So, a couple of figures here. So the Saxton blades, I've got two with 25.4mm bores. One is 80 teeth and the other one is 40 teeth. And I managed to pick it up as a two-pack for 31.99 British pounds. So I think that's a very good deal there, guys. Now, obviously, the Freud blades are far more expensive, but I managed to pick it up on sale. The 40 teeth for 27.85 and the 60 teeth for 31 quid. So you can see the price difference there straight away. Is the quality that much better? For the initial cuts I made, no, they are very on par, the Saxton blade and the Freud blade. But saying that, the time will tell and I've got a good feeling that the Freud will actually come on top. Now, when operating the blades in the machine, Freud blades felt better and the material was going through a lot smoother than the Saxton blades. So from that perspective, I would give a nudge to Freud blades. They seem to be working with this particular table, so a lot better than the Saxton blades. But um, the difference is not massive. As I say, time will tell. Now, in comparison, the Evolution dedicated blades, the multi-blade, you can pick it up for about 22 quid on Amazon, and the wood dedicated blade for... 32 pounds very expensive comparing the quality of cuts you can actually achieve with it a little bit disappointing there unfortunately so i hope you enjoyed this little video and it gave you a bit of knowledge and that's what this is all about arming you with knowledge and um, for you to make the best choices for your particular situation 
If you're interested in any other tools that I've actually got, I'm doing a re-review series of all the tools I've got in my workshop after uh, at least one year of usage. So I've got a dedicated playlist. It should be just over here. Go and click it, have a look. Maybe there's a few tools that you're looking for and you could be interested in. So have a look. But for now, guys, that's all. Thank you for watching my video. Take care.